New York City as a coastal area and a city that does already experience hot summers is going to really be impacted as coastal flooding and our summer temperatures get worse and worse. The kids now, we're gonna be there to witness it. We should know more because it's our future. We are learning about climate change and we are really kind of like the messengers. We all know people and the more awareness we can spread about this topic, the larger an impact this program will have. What I like about this program is then it talks to students about what a middle school age student in New York City can do to protect their family, their community from the impacts of climate change. Good morning, everybody. Are you ready for Jamaica Bay? It's gonna make a difference. I think one of the benefits of having so many teachable moments outside of the classroom is they feel ownership over those natural areas and a sense of responsibility to them as well. How many living organisms are in that square? With the RISC program, it's using New York City as your classroom. I'm excited about getting a hands-on because I'm like a project-based kind of learner. Three, two, one, go! We used a plankton net so we could collect plankton and we're gonna look through a microscope and see what type of plankton it is. If we can identify these bacteria, we can learn more about them and maybe learn how they can interact with the environment and different plants. Climate change is not really addressed in the curriculum as it should be. The direct impact on the, the neighborhood is really apparent to a lot of those kids. Yet, when we talk about it in school, we're just talking about conditions that make climate change, but not its full impact on students, which they're well aware of. My family lives really close to Emmons Street, which is where the bay is. During Hurricane Sandy, the storm surge actually reached our house and flooded. In the future, it will probably affect our family a lot. My students were able to look out the window and see all the different types of shorelines, and that's incredible. You can't do that in a classroom, you can only do that outside. And the most amazing part of RISC to me is by learning this information, students can actually stand up for themselves and they can have the community involved in a way that schools have not done in the past. Do you believe you're in New York City when you have this great view? They're one of the most productive habitats on the planet, salt marshes. The teachers out here today are interested in changing the curriculum of the city of New York so it can focus on issues that affect all of us here, one of the biggest being climate change. I think we're part of a really important group of educators who want to rise to the challenge of not just teaching climate change, but giving our students the tools to do something. We're going to take this back to us with our schools, and hopefully we're going to organize some kind of trip where students can come out here too, so they can also learn about the coastline and get a direct impact on what it feels to be in a wildlife refuge. I want them to change the world, obviously. That's why we're all here. Imagine if every state implemented risk. It would be fantastic to what the communities could produce. This is the beautiful part when kids are out in the field and they're planting and they're lifting the skills and the curriculum and the practical application. Then you can understand everything that's going on right away. Oh my goodness. Agency, voice, empowering students. The most important thing we can give our students is knowledge, confidence, and the ability to go out to the community. Today, I want you guys to pretend with me and work with me and use your imagination to envision that you guys are inventors and you've come up with a solution to environmental problems. This workshop is about public speaking so we can further be an advocate of climate change and how we can help fight it. The kids of today are what shape our tomorrow with our imagination. If we're going to be leaders, then we have to know how to express what we're trying to talk about. This coronavirus crisis is growing intensely. 
I have to declare a state of emergency in New York City. As of now, school is canceled for tomorrow, canceled to, at minimum, Monday, April 20th, at maximum, the entire 2019-2020 school year. I'm on week 11 of isolating, so that would put me around day 77 of self-isolation. My parents own two Thai food and ice cream restaurants, and so instead of working from home, they're out there facing the pandemic. They have to worry a lot more about cleanliness and face masks. I reside in Brooklyn, New York, which is the place that's been hardest hit by COVID-19. I help my little brother who is six years old with his own homework and my other brother who's 10. We have cautioned our friends and family to stay home. This whole pandemic is just horrible. One good thing about this is we have a closer relationship with many of these students because of the risk program and so using it as a way to connect with them. Um, socially emotional learning as well as academically and, and in this enrichment activity, it, it's good. Welcome to Sandy Hook National Recreation Area. We'll be planting American beach grass on the dunes. Hi, Don Reefy here, Jamaica Bay Guardian. What kind of grass is the lifeblood of this bay? We've changed our risk curriculum significantly in order to meet the changing conditions created by self-isolation. We spend about half of every meeting that we have with our risk students talking about their lives and the impact that COVID-19 has had on them and their families and their communities. Even though the students are stressed out, they still do the best they can. Since I've been self-isolating, I've learned a lot about myself. I have the opportunity to lobby for legislation and focus on my internships as well as my schoolwork. You guys are great. Please give me some round of applause. By 2040, the sea level may rise to a point where they can't even live in their homes anymore. So RISC is really giving students a platform to stand on to speak about these issues. Climate change, it's real, first of all. Everyone should know about it, especially us right now, so we can help save our future. I should be one of the people to do that because many people aren't willing to do what has to be done. We are hands-on interacting with everything, and this program gives us a new level of understanding. Before I started, I wasn't well enough educated in this and I'm really thankful for RISC to allow me to learn so much about climate and actually give me a place to combat climate change.